You know when you have those extra long days when work just gets you down? Now it's time to take it easy with the Kiwi Design head strap. We offer high quality comfort that adds extra playtime to your VR experience. So anyone in the family can have fun anywhere they can dream for as long as they want. Kiwi Design makes the best VR accessories. Level up your VR gaming experience with Proximat. Proximat helps virtual reality gamers play safer, longer, and better by creating a defined area for gameplay. The center indicator keeps gamers in the middle of the safe area, and the front indicator on the forward section of the mat lets them know the direction they are facing when in VR. That means no more bumping into walls, hitting furniture, or tripping over objects on the floor. Proximat reduces vertigo and queasiness common to VR gaming, and since it's made from anti-fatigue sponge, it allows you to play and explore in comfort for a longer period of time. Available in standard and large sizes in both round and horseshoe design, Proximat is ideal for enhancing your VR experience on PlayStation VR, Oculus Rift, HTC Vive, and any other virtual reality hardware used for standing and movement while in immersion. Find out what you can What's going on, everybody? Oh, looks like it's going to be a quick start. That's pretty cool. Uh, we are going to have a great matchup for y'all. It is between number two and number three on our ladder. And it's it's going to be one of the last casts for the regular season as this is week 12 before we go to the postseason. But let's hop on out there very quick. First map is going to be here on Snow Peak Night, as you saw there. The ones defending will be ODB. We have Matt Outdoors, Neo, Don Patron, Aqua Fighter, and Hoochie all out here on the field, ready to defend this uplink. Let's hop on over. Looks like Myth and Oaks will be the first ones to come on in, while the other three look like they are making a far, far south flank, possibly. Now you see Myth and Oaks holding up, possibly letting the rest of their team catch up before they do start this push in. I that is a little bit dark. Let me, yeah, I, I have the night vision on. Get the lasers on for y'all. Let's see if I can't mess with the the brightness here a little bit for y'all at home. Because when this is one of those really, really dark maps, I mean, downfall night is kind of dark, but I feel like Snow Peak's a little bit darker. Looks like we are seeing most of ODB holding tight on that objective. They not, they're not going to get aggressive. They're not going to get, you know, taking any risk out there. It being the first round, this may be setting the momentum for the rest of the match. Looks like on this north end, we are going to see Ghost pushing on in. He will end up contending with Hoochie there. 
Let's see if we got a yeah hoochie right here I don't know if he has himself a C4 to defend this entrance. I'm not seeing a clacker anywhere. Looks like he's going to go ahead and trust that that AK he's holding. Again, we are hitting that three minute mark. Looks like we're going to have Haywire pushing through the center, these center tunnels as Myth and Oaks are still continuing their slow approach there from the east. I guess technically that would be the south. Yo, right. Oh, he's right there on the inside. Let's hop on over here with Hoochie as he is about to contend with both Ghost and James. We see Myth pretty close as well down there. It's right, right in there to the left. Don Patron will be the one guarding this angle. Here we go. About to hit the two minute mark. I think we're about to see some action. Again, this is round number one. First map, Snow Peak Night. Bucci, that timing, looking away. Did not see Ghost, but he is going to, in fact, see him. But if he's not careful, oh. That nade, if it was a little bit closer, would have gone. There is a trade that goes out between Ghost and Hoochie. Ghost is resible, so you're going to see that happen from James there. Looks like they are going to confirm that body. Matt Outdoor's rotating to pick up that angle that Ho Hoochie just died from. Oh, he's clearing out some of the, the pathways through the hallway. Now, if Myth and Oaks aren't careful, they will end up shooting each other. James with the nade is gonna knock Matt. And as well, he's gonna pick up a kill onto Aqua, confirming that kill onto Matt Outdoors. It is now a 2v3 here. Neo is crashing back to the OBJ. James hearing the footsteps is gonna be ready for him on the other end. We got Oaks taking out Dom Patron and had James not killed him, the OBJ would have been wide open for Myth or Oaks to get on in, get those numbers. But five up for Mayhem, taking out this ODB defense here on the first round of Snow Peak. Again, as always, let me know if the audio is off a little bit. I see you out there, iBands. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. This should be a great matchup for y'all to tune in to, follow along, get some snacks, get some pizza, grab a drink, grab a very, very warm blanket, and just sit back and watch some top tier onward get that first point on the board for y'all now again this is the first of three possible maps these are the three maps that were chosen for this week number 12 again being the last week in our regular season see this is our first season so you know there's been a little hic hiccups here and there but i guarantee we will be ironing out those kinks and becoming full force for season two but not till we have our finals and the finals will commence of the top 10 teams at the end of this week today being the last day of the week after after these matches we got two matches going on right now and then i think we have three more matches here a little later this evening which i will be picking up one of those not quite sure which one yet you know if there's a team you want to see definitely drop it in our discord we have that public casters channel so you know drop the team you want to see there and i no doubt will be picking one of those up oh they are starting so let's hop on back let's see how mayhem is going to be able to defend this obj will they do a little bit better than odb or will they fall to the same tactics Looks like ODB is going to get that same spawn that Mayhem got. Looks like Hoochie was having a bit of a mic issue there, but confirming with his team that they can, in fact, hear him. Oh, looks like we're going to have Ghost pushing up. I don't know. He's, he's holding tight. No, I guess they're just clearing out. Clearing out tunnels. A little bit of pre-fire because there is a, a bit of a quick spawn on this OBJ. 
So that might have been what they were anticipating, but not going to be the case here for this round. Oh, unfortunately. Oh, no. Okay. I was worried they had a drop. Now I am going to hold up right here, see if I can't get this a little bit brighter for y'all. Hopefully, hopefully that, that helped. On my end, it looked like it did for y'all. I mean, I'm still seeing it dark. But hopefully that made it a little bit brighter. Again, you know, drop any of that info in the chat and I will try to adjust it accordingly. Let's hop up here in the north. James, James taking a little bit more aggressive approach than Hoochie did last round. He will be running into Matt Outdoors if he holds this angle. We got Matt and Hoochie. Bo's gonna be making this north approach. Meanwhile, on their other end. Oh, I am in a wall. You know who is that? Ghost? Let's hop, hop on over to Ghost. Now, Ghost being where he's at, if Neo makes any kind of footsteps, he will be getting hurt. It's going to be hard for Ghost to get past that angle that uh, that Myth is holding down there. Here's some good utility. A little bit of pre-fire. Let's see. Let's see if he's able to get it. Myth is not wavering from his angle. Those two were seen there in the north. Oh, I don't want to miss it. Look, as soon as I go to the north, something's going to happen here. Oh, James not spotting Hoochie, but Hoochie is going to find James there. Gets the pickup. Let's hop on back to Neo and Myth here. Now, Neo definitely hearing the call out from Ghost. That may distract him from Myth. I'm not going to be able to get that pickup. Here we go. But Neo spotting myth is going to get him, making this now a 5v3 in favor of ODB. Hoochie and Matador still working on that north push. Haywire Bubba will be the one to contend with that next. Let's fly on down. Oaks with a nice little angle himself as well. And the trade between trade Ghost and Neo, but Ghost is only down. And as I say that, Aqua and Haywire trade. We have a bit of a trade word going on here. It's now all up to Oaks. Last up on his feet is going to take out Hoochie, but not going to be ready for Matt Outdoors. Coming around right after Hoochie. And this will get ODB their win to tie it up. Trading Marsoc rounds here. That's your kill count. Surprised we're not seeing Sri Lankan out there. Possibly, maybe, maybe he's not too fond of night large maps. I, you know, I feel that. I feel that 100%. I mean, Snow Peak already is like, eh, I don't know. I mean, this is one of those smaller CQB type of OBJs, but it's still a big map. So many angles. I just, just I don't I don't care for it. And then being night, nah, I'm all right. Thank you, no thank you. But ODB again tying it up. We are now sitting back at zero zero essentially. Let's see what what OBJ we are going to next. Sorry about that. That is the only downfall with Spotify. This is the ads if you don't pay for it. Anyway, next OBJ is looking like it's going to be outside. If I can figure my way out of these tunnels, I am trying to get over. <laughs> I am glad y'all are not seeing this right now. There we go. I'm out.
think it's going to be this little this little shack obj it is here we go that's that bad i don't want to call it a bad word because you know i need all the karma that this obj is given that's that pretty pretty green thing <laughs> well, there's a little bit of technical difficulty there. Good thing Neo could let his team know in time to get that round reset. You know, if you can't give up, I think something happened there with this headset. Maybe it went blank or black, whatever, and you know he couldn't see. You saw his arms and everything just like kind of froze. You know, that is another way to round reset. Just kill all your teammates before that timer. <laughs> oh man. All right. ODB defending this OBJ. We are going to see Mayhem get somewhat of a quick spawn. You know, I, I call it a quick one because you're pretty much in line with a few of the defenders already if you just push forward. As we may end up seeing here from Myth finding Hoochie over there. And in fact, he does. But Hoochie is only going to be down. I think he's down where he can't get confirmed. So that's going to be good for ODB. See, it. I would say it was pretty close, but they'd be coming this way. I don't know where he is. I still can't even see him now. I'm down. <laughs> oh, he's on top of the tower around here. There you go. Hoochie does, tower. in fact, spot oh, Myth. Know. Gives that call out to his team. Yeah. That yeah. should let them know, too, that they did get this spawn down here in the southeast. Now, again, where he's down is huge. It's on the backside of the hill. So they got to get pretty much come from that way to get the confirmation if he not get right up him. onto his body Don Patron yeah, maybe looking to get this cap Hoochie giving those call outs again this may be huge here for ODB oh even though Hoochie giving the call out to Don is not going to be ready for Ghost there getting himself the pickup and the confirmation making this now a 5v3 here on the other end, James does take out Matt Outdoors, pushing through the middle. Now a 5v2. It is all up to Aqua and Neo holding tight on that OBJ. You're going to see Aqua tuck in a little bit further, knowing that she did just lose a teammate over here. Smoke already out there as well from James. If ODB's not careful, they can possibly sneak in and get a cap from that north side. I mean, sorry, from that east side. But Neo is going to take out Oaks. Nay, just missing Aqua somehow. That will allow James to push on up and trades with Aqua. It is now all up to Neo. Last alive for ODB against a three person offense from Mayhem. situation i dread neo though flash is going to come out not going to find the mark onto neo that smoke though will be grabbing his attention i do not doubt also allowing ghost to get danger close and as he's rotating back to the obj will he get there in time as ghost is there with the tablet out no he does not and ghost gets the digits in putting mayhem up three to ODB's one. Oh man. Let's see if we did catch that in time. I don't know. No, we did not. Ignore that. Well, let's hop back to that lovely tent and get Mayhem's two points on the board. Thanks, Gun Grip. I was hoping it helped. See Ibans out there rooting on Mayhem and Myth. They are now, possibly thanks to you rooting them on, Ibans. 
only one point away from taking map number one. But ODB is going to be up next on Marsoc, and now they have the chance to tie it up with the cap. Can they do this or not? You got to be expecting Mayhem's going to be holding it tight, knowing that they're going to be trying for that cap. You know, again, that spawn that you get down there in the south, it's, it's almost just a direct shot right on up to the OBJ. I am sorry about that. Gratuitous. It should be to where you can adjust it on the resolution. If you go down a resolution, it should work fine. I know sometimes I have that same issue. And so I sometimes have to watch it at 420 or lower. And that, that should help being able to watch it without it stopping. We're going to be hopping back out there. Great advice there from Oaks. Play it tight. No need to get aggressive. Let them come to you. Again, you are on defense. You are sitting one away from the map win. Looks like first one to contend with ODB is going to be Myth right here at this East Tunnel exit. Meanwhile, we're going to see three of ODB pushing around to the north. Matt Outdoors holding here at the other tunnel exit. Myth getting a little bit antsy. May end up paying for this from Aqua. But he's staying low. Both missing each other with that great onward timing. Matt Outdoors... Spotting James possibly throwing some shots through those Hescos, but not going to find the pickup. Friendly, friendly. Yeah. I'm going to rotate out now. Myth definitely hearing that, that combo going on. Nothing commencing yet. Myth. Looks like he is going to be holding there watching that, but they have rotated out of there. You're going to see Matt and both Aqua rotating the way the rest of the team did. That possibly will keep Myth held up there. So this could essentially be a 5v4 if he does not crash back in time. It looks like Don Patron will be coming through that from that north pathway crossing miss sight lines at some point here we are hitting two and a half minutes again this is a pretty large map i'd say it's almost as big as downfall so you know when you get to that two minute mark you definitely got to be already making that that push to the obj Loving seeing this from ODB. You know, they're taking it slow. It looks like they're all letting everybody get into position before they do their attack. A lot of times you see that from teams, you know, maybe two or three push in, and that leaves the rest of your team just, you know, trying to catch up. We are going to see Hoochie get a huge pick there on to James. Now, if Myth moves around too much or shoots... Don Patron's going to be ready for that refrag. But if Don Patron gets myth before, this whole north side is essentially open for them to push on in. Oh, Don Patron, that timing is not going to find myth before he can take out Hoochie, but will get the refrag, no doubt, making this a 4v3. Over there in the south, Mad Outdoors taking out Ghost. It is now all up to Oaks. 
and Haywire. Haywire is sitting a little bit far over there in the east, right outside that garage. Oaks has a decent position here on this south sandbags. But if he makes too much noise, he stands up. Matt Outdoors will be ready for him. And as I say that, he does in fact get that pick. So now it is all up to Haywire to just crash. Crash back. There you go. You don't want to worry about dying in a situation like that. You want to worry about letting a cap go out. And knowing that your south defense just got taken out. You, you don't know how close they are to that OBJ. They could pull the ghost and get the cap right there. But ODP securing that round. Now only one within tying it up with Mayhem. They are going to Volk. So essentially, they just got to play defense. But we are seeing Marsoc rounds win. Volk has not won a round yet. Oh, yeah. I, I definitely got the bit rate where it should be. It, it recommends it being a little bit higher when I do that uh, the stream test thing. I forgot what it's called. It has me, it has my recommendation around 3,800, but I like to keep it around two, 2,000 ish. I know sometimes, especially with the World Cup going on, things are a little bit weird. I experienced that in a lobby earlier, so I have it a little bit lower than normal. So it, it shouldn't, shouldn't be messing up again. You know, the World Cup going on is messing with everyone's connection. So I would just advise lowering that resolution a little bit. And it should get it going. It, it seems to be working for me on my phone. You know, I was I was watching it at the full resolution. And yeah, it was stopping a little bit. I just went down to 720 and I'm all good on my end. So definitely, I would advise trying that out. But let's get ODB's point up there. Again, one away from tying it. Holding the gap? Are you holding the gap or the entrance? What, who's holding this gap? I'm going north. Um, oh, I can hold the entrance. Oh, All right, this the, is going to be the OBJ inside this bunker. Now, Hoochie, doing what I love. I like to do this. You go out here, you can see real quick if they're spawning. He. he that may, though, give him an inaccurate kill count as he thinks he got a kill. So I, you always got to assume it's only a down, especially if you can't get that confirmation. Even with headshots, the way, again, the way the connections are going this weekend, you got to assume that it's not going to be a kill. We are seeing most of ODB... In fact, all of ODB holding tight inside that bunker on the OBJ. Looking like Mayhem, for the most part, is going to be pushing through this North Valley. James taking the southern one. And Haywire still holding back here at the lake by that pillbox. Has already passed one minute on the timer. But again, I mean, they're right here by the OBJ. They can take all the time they need to allow their team to get into position before they start this attack. Yeah, gun grip. You you want to pre-fire all all of this stuff. All this tin on this map is penetrable. So you think there's someone in there or not? You know, just light it up. Yeah, you, you hate to give your position away, but you hate to die a lot more. <laughs> First smoke out here from Mayhem on this north entrance of the bunker. It's definitely going to be blocking their view from the inside. Well, now, what this is doing is allowing Mayhem... Oh, Hoochie trying to throw a nade out does not get it. In fact, downs one of his teammates. Now, what you were seeing there was Mayhem clearing that outside, you know, pre-firing all the corners, but putting that smoke up so no one inside can kill them while they are pre-firing and clearing the outside. 
great, great tactic there from one of these top tier teams. Ghost now allowing that sound, that smoke to be sound suppression does get right outside that north entrance. Meanwhile, we have James taking up position as Haywire does clear out Don Patron. It is now a 5v4. Ghost, looking like Ghost is about to make his entrance here. Does just peek in, throw some pre-fire. It's got everyone's attention, though. And he makes it in. But Hoochie is going to get that pickup. Meanwhile, James dropping some smoke, entering in. Is going to clear out Hoochie. He's now inside this bunker. C4 getting blown, but it's on the other side of the pillar and not going to get the hit. But Aqua taking him out. Trades only down. Now a two and a half B3. Oaks watching this north entrance is going to find not only Neo, but swings around, takes out Matt and the confirmation on the Aqua. Getting Mayhem their fourth win and securing this map win here on Snow Peak. There is your kill count. Neo leading ODB with four, followed by Matt, Uchi, and Aqua with three apiece. On the side of Mayhem, we got Oaks with five, but Ghost with that cap and four kills, followed by James. Oh, James with six, Haywire with two, and Mithril with one. I imagine we will be going to a rehost. So after I get this point on the board, we're going to drop you to a couple of our sponsors. While we get our next map, another large one abandoned set up for y'all. All right, second one is going to be on Abandon, as you see right there to the right of my face. I'm trying to find which OBJ, you know, let's let y'all see what I'm looking at. Now, if this is a little bit too bright, again, please let me know in the chat. I can tone it down a bit. It's still sitting on that setting for the night map. But if, if it's all right with y'all, I'll possibly leave it here. Again, this is the map abandoned. See here, pretty, pretty big. We'll see when they hop in where this OBJ is going to be. Let me get those names changed up top before I forget. Oh, is it this OBJ? Oh no, it's the one on top, I forget. They spawned the Volk so far away from the OBJ and in doing so, with this run, someone can usually get a sight line if they run. Like see right there, you're seeing Don Patrona and Aqua. Had they run up top, second story, they may have been able to spot some of the defense getting into position. And we're gonna have Mano and Matt Outdoors pushing out to that west side over by three story do we have all four in yes we do i mean all five meanwhile you're seeing don patron and aqua coming up through the east side alley and i believe one yes hoochie pushing right up through the middle
And Hoochie finding the first pick onto Ghost. We'll put ODB up in a 5v3. Looks like Mano may be expecting a defender here in this third story. If not, maybe Matt Outdoors heard Myth getting into position over here. Your Myth giving some call outs there. Possibly hearing an attacker on the outside. Oh, he definitely hears Mano there. Is that Mano or Malno? Again, someone in the chat, let me know. Meanwhile, on this north side, we've got Don Patron and Aqua still, still pushing on in slowly. Again, allowing the rest of the team to catch up. You know, ideally, you want to attack here from the east. At the same time, your other teammates are attacking from the south. That's going to be a hard one to contend with Oaks in these pipes here. Myth going at it here with Mano in this three-story. Mano, though, I think was trying to reload. Ends up trading as James does take out Hoochie there in the center. Now brings it to a 3v3. Haywire being the one closest to three-story. Looks like he's going to be rotating back here in that tank depot. You hear James calling to bring him back home. Now, if Aqua and Patron hold up here and allow Matt to push on up here from the north, they can essentially pinch James here, possibly getting, getting him cleared out and pushing on in for that cap. What's up, Doctor A and Peas? None other than the Great Peas. One of our fellow VREL casters out there. Glad to have you in the chat. Thanks for joining us. This is quite a spicy matchup we got going on. If you missed that first round, here are the scores for that first map. Smoke going out there from Don Patron out from the south. But a fame. Oh, I thought that was going to be a nade from James, but it's a flash, allowing him to get the pick onto Don Patron. But Aqua looking for that refrag, unable to hit him. Hopefully, this all this gunfire is allowing Matt to sneak on up. But I think Haywire is holding that angle and does, in fact, find Matt outdoors, pushing from the north. Oaks! Oaks taking out James. That is a huge, huge drop there for Mayhem. They essentially had this locked down, but after that kill, Haywire may get, get seen. No, he's not. That smoke, though, is going to provide some distraction there. If not some cover for Aqua. Aqua pushing around back. Thought she was about to run into Oaks here. 20 seconds they got that those beeps so that's why she may be having a little bit of pep in her step but coming around this south side of the apartments is going to get spotted by haywire that could have gone very different after that tk from oaks but mayhem holding their composure and getting the revive do hold it out and get themselves their first win here on abandon Get on up there. Get their first point. Again, winning the first round of the map. Will this go the same way that map number one did for Mayhem? Or will ODB be able to change it up and get themselves a win? A whole map win. So that we go to that suburbia. We all know how much James loves suburbia. Everybody, everybody knows James loves suburbia. <laughs> no, he actually does not. 
So if I were to ODB, I would want to take Mayhem to Suburbia. I would be trying my darndest. I mean, of course, they're going to be trying. You don't want to lose at all. But you definitely, definitely want to take Mayhem. If you're going to take them anywhere, you want to take them to Suburbia. And you want to smoke cap all day. <laughs> But now it's going to be ODB defending this apartment, OBJ. Hop on out there as they are about to. Yeah, I forget. Oh, they spawn so far away. Again, this is risky. We may see some sight lines going on out here. You see them throwing that smoke. That is smart out of ODB, allowing them to get into position. They know. That if you get to the right angle, as you were seeing there from Ghost, you see that laser from Ghost. You can essentially see when they're getting into position. Free fire going out there is not going to find a pickup. We're going to see Matt Outdoors and Hoochie pushing south here on the east side. Backside of the apartments getting into position. Great, great setup they got here. Pre-fire going out though. Hoochie is going to get Ghost ending that pre-fire as well as Matt taking out Myth. It is now all up to Wookie here in the south. But Don Patrol making quick work of them. Now only two up for Mayhem against a five-person defense of ODB. We are seeing both of those two for Mayhem working on a huge flank to the north. We're just going to follow here with them as they are the last two up. So all action should be happening around them. See James working on a little bit further north flank. Haywire looking back, making sure no one is coming up behind them. Matt Outdoors now opting to move on north and check out what's happening. You got to assume, you know, you took three out already. Three are down there on that southeast side. You got to assume the other two are coming from the opposite side. And if that is Matt's assumption, he is right. But will he be ready for them? Let's hold tight right here. I imagine he will end up hearing Haywire's footsteps. Indeed. Wire not being silent at all is going to get found by Matt Starr. Now, all up to James. James, knowing shots are coming out here from that northeast, is looking for that refrag. If Matt Outdoor peeks out just a little bit, he's going to get found by James. And James being last alive here on Mayhem, still against a five-person ODB defense, can use this pick. And he does, in fact, find Matt there. But now, ODB know. I imagine they have an accurate kill count. They know last person for Mayhem is coming from this north. Mayno is going to be a hard one to contend with. As well as Hoochie pushing on up. I'm getting stuck on stuff right there. That's weird. I think James spotted him. Those are some shots. Can't quite get that pick up onto Hoochie. Hoochie looking for that kill onto James. James working on the rotation to the back of the apartments. That's good, as that will get him out of the sight lines of Mano from that tank depot. But Hoochie being ready here in the pipes will drop him and give ODB their first win here on Abandoned. So far, we are now trading Volks. Snowpeak is trading Marsoc rounds. Now we're trading Volk rounds. There's your kill count for both teams. Great job out there from everybody. But let's get their point on the board, making it official in the eyes of everyone watching. Again, thank you, everybody, for joining us in the chat. Is the World Cup finished? Is it? 
Because I've noticed this weekend, a lot of people have been having issues with, like, everything. Like, all around. Making sure this is still going. Yep, looking from my phone, it's still running. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm watching it at 720. At the 900, it was, yeah, it was... It was buffering occasionally. So again, if you are having problems with the buffering, just try lowering that resolution a bit. There's something weird going on this weekend. People are attributing it to the World Cup, but I'm seeing there in the chat, y'all are saying the World Cup's over. So who knows? Maybe the grid is just trying to catch up. <laughs> yeah, it may look a little bit... Uh, a little grainy because again i put that bit rate super low because like i said i i've been noticing stuff all weekend and then after a lobby right before this match there was some weird stuff going on so i figured you know keep it low keep it running smooth you know it might not look smooth because again the bit rate is a little bit low lower than it should be but as long as we're not dropping frames and we're not skipping catching all the action But round number three starting here. We are going to have the OBJ there in between those containers. See Ghost trying to get up to that sniper position. Don Patron, though, making quick work of James pushing out to the beach as Aqua takes out Haywire. ODB sitting nice in a 5v3 right now. We got Wookie holding right here on this south wall it is gonna get the pickup onto hoochie putting a little dent into odb's offense but aqua looking for that refrag you see the laser going right above wookie's head i'm worried for ghosts back there because it looks like dom patron was Kind of getting a pick up Wookie, getting a little aggressive here on this defense, possibly wanting to catch them off guard. If not, at least he's going to be hearing the footsteps as Ghost does take out Matt outdoors. It is now a 3v3, but Wookie taking out Don and then Mano killing Don somehow as Aqua takes out Wookie. Unfortunate TK there, now a 2v2. Goes throwing shots into this three-story where Aqua Fighter is actually at. Does he know that or is he just pre-firing after having one of his teammates die? Ghost taking out Mano. Mano though is only down and in a great position as he will not be able to get confirmed. Oh, that was stuttering a little bit. It's weird. Mano giving that call out on the ghost as you're hearing there. So no doubt Aqua is going to be trying to get that pick. Making it easier for her to get on down so that OBJ and possibly get the numbers in. Two minutes, 22 seconds. Definitely got to start doing something. That time disappears. Super quick. Where am I going? Aqua getting a little bit lost here in that three story. So you think shoreline would be good to go? Again, communication is huge in onward. As we are seeing here. Working with oh it looks like instead of trying to get that pickup on the ghost, they're gonna go for the res, which is yeah. I think the smart yeah, choice. Exactly. Because they're going to think that Mano's dead. They're not going to be expecting someone to pop up from there. And Mano having that that great sight line onto Ghost. Yeah, if if Aqua sneaks up here, gets low, Mano is just watching Ghost. So he can essentially rotate to, like, right here and just boop. 
Thing Aqua's trying to make her way. Will she make it in time? Let's sit here and. But remember when you come and get me though, I, he's fully exposed uh, to this line of sight. Mano giving some great information to Agua. So even if oh, Mano yeah, the one, does end up bleeding out. Oh no! As he was given the information on Demit's position, he bled out. All he said was center of the map, and he was about to say second container, I think. So the only thing she can work off of is center of the map but she should be able to get the pick onto ghost right now missing her shot so oh that was close but she does end up getting it now she's going to be focused on the center by the pipes and may not be ready for myth here on the obj And the time runs out. So unfortunate here for ODB. Mayhem getting that second win due to the clock running out. Good kills all across the board there. Mayno providing that support. That was huge, huge on the call outs. Again, if you're downed, you know, you're not out. Definitely. Reach down, grab those comms on the floor, and let your team know what you see. Bud Mayhem getting that second win on Abandon, putting them up one against ODB. <laughs> nice to have you here with us, Oaks. Glad you can eat. Definitely never want to skimp out on the food. I do that many times. Wait. No, okay. See, how I, I was thinking too, I had something in the microwave. Because yeah, I'll, I'll throw something in the microwave and I'll start getting working on something or like a cast or something and I completely forget. So I know what you mean. But glad you're here. Switch out, but it was pre-planned. Oh yeah. We, yeah, we saw that te team down. A little unfortunate. You know, it happened so... You know, you're, you're on your toes. You're ready to shoot anything and everything. Hey, not many people can say that they killed or downed James. So you got that going. I know, it's true. All right, now let's see if ODB can provide the same defense and keep Mayhem from making it to that OBJ. Oh, but they're getting the south spawn. Hoochie, though, is going to spot them. Gives the team the information that they did, in fact, get that south spawn. Mount Outdoor is right here. Not going to be able to get the pick onto James. And James rotating back out is going to end up trading with Matt. Matt only down, but gets confirmed by Ghost. The callout's on... The team counts. Both sides does go out from Ghost. We're seeing Wookie going around if Mano's not careful. Now, there was a call out that someone pushed Beach. I'm not seeing it here on my end. Looks like we got one three-story and the other two on the OBJ. So that call out's going to definitely be messing with a few of them. It looks like Haywire, though, is going to go check it out. You know, you never want to dismiss, dis, dismiss, dismiss a call out. Because that could be the end of you and your teammates. So nah. We see him checking out the beach. Nothing going to be back there. But if he's not careful. Oh, no. Don Patron... I don't know what Don Patron's doing right now. I don't know what he's seen. Okay, there we go. My angle, it looked like he wasn't looking at anything. If he's not careful, though, Haywire definitely will get that pickup onto him. Meanwhile, we have Wookie. Why did I say... Wookie. 
Wookie. Wookie. <laughs> we got a Wookie pushing on from the north side of the apartments. Not going to be anyone to contest with as Hoochie and Myth end up trading. Ghost get into the pickup on the Mano. Mano only he down did. though. Okay, okay, okay. Lima three. Again, we saw the callouts that Mano was given. So that's going to be huge there still for ODB. Mano is great with those callouts. So you can provide that information. Ghost realizing that one is, in fact, on the objective, possibly from that flash that Aqua threw out. Don Patron knowing that he's one of two left up. I don't know if he's going to end up crashing back or not. If he's not careful, Haywire there from the beach side will get that pick onto him. Looks like he has that better angle. We're seeing Wookie there. Thanks, Tank, for that follow. Oh, Haywire does get the pick on to Aqua. Now OBJ is open. And as we see Don Patron crashing back, is going to get found by rest of mayhem and now mayhem sitting once again one away from victory we saw this on snow peak a 3-1 deficit and odb pull out another round or will mayhem take it here on abandon and win the whole match but first let's get their point on the board putting them up now three one oh, i just realized the chat is not showing up either there we go chat and notifications i had it on the first channel <laughs> sorry about that so that follow you saw was going to be for our second channel not for this one i imagine all y'all in the chat are already followed Again, we will be taking a two-week break after, after our final week here. We will be taking a two-week break. Two-week break. I believe January 11th, it said, or was it second? I'll check that. We will be starting up the postseason, and that will commence of the top 10, 10 teams of the ladder. I cannot talk today. Those first two which right now is Latin Force and Mayhem, will essentially bypass the quarterfinals. They go on into the second round automatically. So then the rest, those eight, those other eight have to battle it out. And it is a single elimination. So you lose, you are out. Those will take place just like normal weeks. You have the whole week to set up the match and get your killing on. But we are back. Round number five. And OBJ is going to be the downed helicopter there in the north. Seeing Mano taking up position. Seeing if he can spot any of the defenders getting a little peaky. I'm not watching the angles, but James watching. Maybe minus one, not 100% sure though. Esports. Does call out their spawn and gets himself a pick onto Hoochie. That is going to be a kill. Does let the team know he's not quite sure if it was a kill or not, so that kill count may be a little bit off. But, you know, it's better to think that there's more than there are less. Now we see Myth taking out matt outdoors here that's a great position that myth has in that container him, he's, he's on the out, not on the in the passage but on the outside of the passage but if he's outside. not careful aqua can take him out now i don't yeah, he's, he's, are he's, these yeah, the shadows, are these walls so. penetrable as minus another one minus another one i asked that myth takes out another one onto mano now, if these are penetrable, he does get the confirmation on Matt Outdoors. Confirmed. So it is now a 2v5. Last two up, Don Patron and Dr. Aqua Fighter holding on here for ODB. 
Now they have to work their way through Mayhem's defense here. Or get the cap in to hold on. If not, Mayhem will take the win. Not only for this map, but for the whole match. James taking out another onto Don Patron. Blowing that C4. Not going to find the pick onto Aqua. It is now all up to her. And she does stop the reign of James Boak. But if they have an accurate kill count, they're going to know that this push is coming here from the east. The first one to contend with. Probably going to be Haywire here. Oh, she throws a little bit of pre-fire in there. But the timing as Haywire comes out is going to get that pick. And gives Mayhem their fourth win. Second map win. And they have taken the match. There's your kill count out there. A bunch of people. Yeah, James and Haywire with five. Ghost and Myth with four. Wookie with two. Aqua and Hoochie with four. Matt Outdoors with three. Don Patron with two. And Mayno providing that support. Let's see if they are, in fact, going to be going to a third map. You know, since they're being, I know a lot of teams, if they're being casted, they like to play that third map. You know, again, these are teams that, for the most part, like the game. They like the competitive nature of it, and, you know, they like playing. But it looks like everyone is going to be hopping out. So we won't be seeing a Suburbia, because we know how much James loves Suburbia. <laughs> oh, he hates it. So, yeah, it, it makes sense that they're not going to be playing it. They are going to hop out here, and that will be the win for Mayhem this afternoon. Great games to both teams all around hope y'all enjoyed watching it at home uh, again want to thank everyone in the chat i seen y'all gratuitous oaks peas hopping in we never see peas hopping in <laughs> doc tory i bands not peter you know thanks for chatting first time in the chat you know just all around, huge thanks. We will be having us another cast later this evening. Again, hop in the Discord. Let us know what teams you want to watch, and I will try to pick that up. We may even get a cast from Peas. I don't know. I'm trying to nudge him, trying to convince him with that. But we'll see. Again, thank you. Huge thanks to our sponsors out there. We got Caveman Studio, Mamut vr nine line apparel providing those jerseys b haptics g fuel if you go to their website use code vrel i think right now it's 30 percent off on that purchase normally it's 10 percent, but i think right now for the holidays they are doing a 30 percent off also thanks to degenerate decals boba vr proxy mat and kiwi design bunch of great sponsors we have here our first season of onward um again thank you everybody for watching and i'm going to drop you to another one of our sponsor videos these are some amazing gloves from b haptics definitely want to get my hands on a set and after that we will be ending the stream so everybody i hope y'all have a great sunday monday if it's some of y'all out there and yeah we'll be seeing you i uh, will be seeing y'all a little bit later and as always, I am Fog Cabin, and peace out.